There are dozens of great ChatGPT plugins out there, with many new plugins being launched every week. To find and enable these plugins, simply follow these simple steps. So log into your ChatGPT account, click on your profile, then click on settings. Then you're going to navigate to beta and you're going to simply click enable plugins. Now when you're using ChatGPT, you'll see a little down arrow icon where you can enable or disable up to three plugins at any one time. You're going to look for the plugin store to search and find for plugins that you can add to your instance of ChatGPT. And you can of course sort these by popularity, by new, by all, or if you came across an interesting plugin on social media or YouTube, you can simply search for it. Scholar AI is a ChatGPT plugin I'm having good results with. Let's say I'm writing an article about consuming too much caffeine. Well, I could put in a fairly generic prompt like, tell me about the effects of too much caffeine consumption. And ChatGPT will give me some generic information about jitters, caffeine fatigue, headaches, anxiety, heart palpitations, and so on. This is fine for most content creators and writers. But if you want to take your content to the next level, it's better to consult some academic and scholarly resources so you can really give credibility to your work. Clearly it's quite time consuming to wade through all of these academic papers yourself. Enter Scholar AI. Once you've enabled this plugin, simply say Scholar AI, tell me about the effects of too much caffeine consumption or whatever the topic is that you're writing or creating content about. Now ChatGPT, with the help of this plugin, will give you information from a variety of academic and scholarly papers. It's kind of like having your own AI powered research assistant. It'll even give you the authors and a summary of the paper in question. Now, of course, the caveat here is at the time of recording this video, it's only going to pull information from scholarly papers dated 2020 or earlier. Now, if you're finding that this information is still a bit time consuming to wade through, you can take things one step further and give ChatGPT this prompt. Please summarize the results of those papers in an easy to read table. And now ChatGPT, with the help of the Scholar AI plugin, has provided me a link to the paper, the authors, the year, and the key findings. So I could potentially embed this particular piece of content in an article I'm writing about caffeine fatigue, or I could simply use it as part of my research process. Writing a good ChatGPT prompt is key if you want to get meaningful results from this AI tool. Now you can spend some time refining your prompts by asking ChatGPT to become a type of persona. For example, hey ChatGPT, you are a writing coach advising someone struggling with writer's block. What tips can you offer? And ChatGPT has provided 12 different tips all about how somebody can overcome writer's block. The tips are relatively good. Change your environment, set small goals, free writing, take breaks, and so on. Once you've enabled Prompt Perfect, you can ask it to improve the writing prompts that you're thinking of inputting into ChatGPT. So you can see it's turned my original prompt, hey ChatGPT, you are a writing coach, into this longer version that explains I'm seeking advice from ChatGPT to assist someone who is currently facing writer's block. And it goes on for several sentences and gives me a complete prompt that I can put into ChatGPT. Let's take a look at the results and see how they do. Here is the initial result from ChatGPT with some fairly good, if slightly generic advice about how to overcome writer's block. And now here are the results from the prompt perfect version. And as you can see, it's gone into much more detail about various strategies that I could use to overcome writer's block. It's categorized them and it's also provided some meaningful writing tips. So this is much more elaborate and certainly something that I could use to speed up my content creation workflow or whatever it is that I'm using ChatGPT for. One more example. I asked Perfect to improve this prompt for a thriller writer who wants to write a story about a murder. And ChatGPT turned this into a three line prompt. When I put this into Prompt Perfect, it gave me a structured guide that I could follow as a thriller writer who was perhaps struggling with their first book. Even if you're not writing genre fiction or struggling with writer's block, you can use Prompt Perfect to improve any type of prompt. Just head over to the Prompt Perfect website, it's free to sign up, and it'll give you lots of different examples of how various creators and writers and professionals are using it to improve their prompts. Here's one example. I am a health and fitness writer writing an article for a beginner about training for a marathon. And here is the results that Prompt Perfect produced. 
Now, my takeaway is that you will get more elaborate and meaningful prompts from using the perfect website, but it is great to have a plugin right inside of ChatGPT, which can improve my prompts as I go. Canva has a great little plugin that you should check out if you're using ChatGPT to create content regularly. It's pretty easy to use. Simply say, Canva, create me an image about, and then put in whatever your topic is. And then ChatGPT, with the help of the Canva plugin, will provide you with multiple different templates that you can edit and customize. Now to access any of these, simply click on the link and it will take you over to the Canva template in question, which you can then edit and download to go along with the piece of content that you're creating or generating. Now clearly not all of these templates are going to be relevant to whatever it is that you're working on. However, it was pleasing to see that this one here mentions writer's block in the text and has an image of a typewriter. So I could quickly customize this to make sure it's on brand and reflective of the type of content that I'm producing. If you don't want to use Canva to create your images, consider using the DALI plugin and create images with the power of AI. To activate it, simply type in DALI, create me an image of, and then provide your information. Clearly the more specific, the better. So I started out with create me an image of a writer with caffeine fatigue, and DALI produced four options for me, all of which were generated with the power of AI. I then tried to give ChatGPT some more specific information, and I explained our writer was working on a murder novel. But this seemed to trigger ChatGPT because it said it has a content policy that prohibited it from creating images. So I changed the prompt, removed the word murder, and put in thriller instead. And now DALI and ChatGPT produced these four options for me. Here's a balding writer. Does he look a little bit like me? Here's a cartoonist version, although you can see novel is spelt wrong. So I guess this is one of these AI hallucinations. And here is a more photorealistic image and something in black and white. So now I have lots of different options that I could use with my content, which isn't going to look like generic stock. A lot of great content is posted on YouTube today. It can be time consuming to wade through all of those videos and find what you need. Enter the Vox Script plugin. Once you've enabled this for ChatGPT, it'll read through the captions and also the transcript of the video that's available on YouTube and provide you with a helpful summary. Simply activate it by typing in Vox Script, give me the captions or give me a summary of, and then paste in your YouTube link. So I put in a YouTube video that Gary Vaynerchuk uh, created about publishing content online today. And it provided me with a helpful summary of the video that I was quickly able to scan without actually having to watch the video. And I asked ChatGPT to continue the transcription with the help of this plugin. And I pulled out some interesting statistics that Gary clearly mentions in this video. This is a great way of putting out key points from multiple different videos when researching your own content. You can also use VoxScript to aggregate real-time news articles. As an example, I put in this prompt, VoxScript, get news for ticker followed by meta. And it provided me with six different news articles that were published just yesterday all about Meta's stock price. I can click through to any of these articles and as you can see, they were published around the same time as this video. So it overcomes that limitation of ChatGPT, whereby it only looks at content prior to 2021. VoxScript has a number of other use cases. You can view all of its different functions on gptstore.ai and simply search for VoxScript. Next up is Keywords Everywhere. This is a plugin that I use all the time for keyword research. Now it's actually a plugin for Chrome, but it works indirectly with ChatGPT. So once you've set up your Keywords Everywhere account, you may need to pay a small amount to use it to get some credits. It'll only cost you a couple of dollars a month, less than the price of a cup of coffee. Once you've installed the Keywords Everywhere plugin for Chrome, you'll see the logo appears at the bottom of ChatGPT. Click on this to access its templates. Now it has templates for copywriting, marketing, SEO, and so on. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but suffice to say, it'll help you craft the perfect prompt, or at least a better prompt than one you may be thinking of inputting into ChatGPT. So let me show you. I'm gonna pick SEO, and I'm gonna pick keyword research, and I'm gonna ask it to get the search intent for these keywords. Now I'm going to put in a number of keywords that I've researched, which relate to the topic of caffeine fatigue. So caffeine fatigue, caffeine headache, best coffee for people who hate coffee, and so on. Then I'll click Execute Template, and Keywords Everywhere will insert this prompt directly into the ChatGPT dialog box. Now ChatGPT will provide me with a table that summarizes the search intent for the keywords that I put into it, 
And it'll also provide me with a bit more information about what search intent means in case I'm unsure. Here's one more example. So I'm going to select copywriting as the category. I'm going to select blog writing because this is for a blog post. And I'm going to select templates generate blog titles. Now I'll paste in caffeine fatigue, click execute template. Now keywords everywhere will input a prompt, which will give me 10 different blog post titles that I could potentially use, all of which include my keyword of choice, caffeine fatigue. You can also use keywords everywhere to come up with ideas for social media posts that are more specific than what you'll get from a generic chat GPT prompt. Again, just click on templates, pick social media, pick your network of choice and select the template that you're looking for. So in this case, I'm going to go with LinkedIn post creator. Now it would be weird to write on LinkedIn about caffeine fatigue. So I've selected the topic productivity for small business owners and I've picked SaaS or software as a service as my industry of choice. Now I'm going to click execute template and let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. ChatGPT with the help of keywords everywhere has produced a LinkedIn post that I could use. Now I'm probably still edit this to add some personal impressions. Some creators when they're brainstorming or organizing their ideas like to think visually by using mind maps or flow charts. Enter the diagram me plugin for ChatGPT. Once you've installed it, simply use a prompt like this. Diagram A and then put in whatever it is that you're trying to think through visually or brainstorm. So in this case, I've put in a content publishing workflow and ChatGPT with the help of this plugin has produced a workflow that I could use to visually explain how I think about content publishing. Obviously I can iterate this by elaborating on my prompt somewhat further. Here's one more that I was able to come up with with the help of this plugin. Diagram a flowchart for researching, outlining and writing blog posts with the help of AI. And let's come up with this helpful flowchart that I could use alongside my content or which I could use to help me think through my content creation process. A common criticism of ChatGPT is that it can't browse real-time search results, unlike some other AI tools that are out there. Enter the WebPilot plugin. So basically you can take a URL that you're researching, like for example, this URL for an article that appears on my site, and then you can use this prompt, WebPilot summarize this URL. And now I have a helpful summary of the article from my site. I also found this plugin useful for analyzing YouTube videos, like this one here, a review of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So I basically took the URL and then used this prompt, WebPilot summarize this video. And ChatGPT sped out a helpful summary of the contents of the video in question. And you can also use it for a transcript. If you're spending a lot of time creating content inside of ChatGPT, for example, the flow charts that I showed you a few moments ago, or some of the text that we generated with the help of Prompt Perfect, you can use the DocMaker plugin to turn that into a PDF and give it a bit of visual polish or flair. Or you can use the same plugin to turn it into a Word document. In this case, I used the prompt DocMaker, turn this into a PDF, and I pasted in that text I got for Thriller Writers. DocMaker took a few moments to create this PDF for me via the Add DocMaker website. Finally, there are a number of plugins that you can use alongside ChatGPT to summarize the contents of PDFs. This is a real time saver if you find yourself wading through lots of research papers. The plugin that I used for this video is called AI PDF, but there are many more that work in a similar way. I used the prompt DocMaker provide me a summary of this PDF. And then DocMaker gave me a URL that I could upload the PDF to. The PDF in question was a news story about tensions in the Middle East, and DocMaker was able to summarize all of the key points for me. So this could be a time saver if I have lots of different PDFs to go through. That's just a selection of some of the best ChatGPT plugins that are out there. As you can see, you can use these to research, plan, and iterate whatever types of content you're working on. Which plugins do you have questions about? Let me know in the comment section below this video. And if you want to get more video tutorials just like this one, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel.